What's up guys, it's Borgs here from the Super Awesome League. It's time for me to kind of put my two cents into what I think of the new Road to WrestleMania. It's not really Road to WrestleMania, 30 years of WrestleMania mode. It's just been announced on 2K14, there's been a lot of hype around it lately. A lot of the YouTubers coming in, obviously giving you the reveals from the live streams. I didn't manage to watch that, I watched the one previously about the gameplay. and. I figured I'd come in and I'd give a few predictions of what kind of matches we could see judging from what superstars have actually been revealed so far. Uh, we have had the roster confirmed now. I actually think there could be one or two more surprises in there. I'm hoping that this Kurt Angle rumour is true because I'm a big, 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 I'm a huge fan of Kurt Angle. And he's had some classic WrestleMania matches, as I'll come on to talk about in this video. Um, we're going to start off, and I looked through the match cards of all the WrestleManias, kind of paired together the people that were actually in matches against each other and have been revealed so far. So we look at WrestleMania 1, and obviously there has to be a match or every WrestleMania if there is 30 years of WrestleMania, like it's been titled. So there was only one match I could find in the first few WrestleManias, in number one, we've got Big John Stud versus Andre the Giant. But to my knowledge and to what the website said, this was a body slam contest for $15,000. So I don't really know how that's going to work. All the other matches on the card, I don't think from what I saw there were any other superstars that had been revealed that were fighting against each other. So we're going to move on to WrestleMania 2, where we could see King Kong Bundy versus Hulk Hogan in a steel cage. Now that could be a very good match. I'm pretty sure that is why King Kong Bundy has been included in this WrestleMania mode. He only features once or twice throughout WrestleMania um, with opponents that have also been mentioned into this roster reveal. But this looks like the, one of the earliest appearances and this could maybe possibly be the start of the Road to WrestleMania mode, or the 30 Years of WrestleMania mode, I'm so used to calling it Road to WrestleMania. Um, only because I can't see any matches from WrestleMania 1 actually happening. If I'm wrong, please do correct me. I didn't let you watch this, I'm just getting this information off of a website. We move on to WrestleMania 3, and now we've got two matches that could take place here. Ricky the Dragon Steamboat against the Macho Man, Randy Savage. This match did take place during WrestleMania 3, as well as Hulk Hogan vs Andre the Giant Part 1. Now this match I can definitely see happening, become immortal, it just fits in with everything. So I'm pretty sure that's going to happen. Ricky Steamboat vs Randy Savage again, it wasn't the main event but it could be a big possibility to happen. Uh, and then that leads us into number four, WrestleMania number four, where we have Hulk Hogan vs Andre the Giant for the second time. I definitely think this is going to be included as well. And then another match that could also be included in WrestleMania four, in the fourth year of the 30 years of WrestleMania, could be Randy Savage vs Ted DiBiase. Now these guys are both included and this would be the first appearance Ted DiBiase makes at WrestleMania where he has an opponent that's also confirmed in the roster. Now there is one thing I would like to touch up on is the amount of managers and guests at ringside during WrestleMania. I don't really know how this is going to work because I'm pretty sure that I haven't actually watched the matches so don't quote me on this but I'm definitely sure that these managers and guests at ringside would have had some kind of interference in the match at some point. But with them not being confirmed it really does create a bit of doubt as to how this mode is going to work because if you're trying to recreate moments that have happened in history how are you going to recre recreate it without characters such as Virgil being confirmed because I know he features a lot with Ted DiBiase uh, but going on to the fifth Wrestlemania we see Randy Savage vs Hulk Hogan now this is the first time these guys meet at Wrestlemania and it kind of makes up a good follow-up storyline from WrestleMania 4, having both Hulk Hogan and Randy Savage competing in that event. So that match is definitely probably going to happen, I can see that happening. And then that moves on to WrestleMania 6, where we see Ultimate Warrior vs Hulk Hogan. I can definitely see this match happening, as it's the only match on the card that I can find that could be created from the roster that was confirmed. WrestleMania 7, we have two matches here that could see happen. That's Ultimate Warrior vs Randy Savage, as well as Hulk Hogan vs Sergeant Slaughter. Now these guys all confirmed 
Again, I think there may have been guests at ringside, so how this is going to work, I do not know. And moving on to WrestleMania number 8, we have Randy Savage versus Ric Flair. Now, Ric Flair, this will be his first, I, th I don't actually think this was the main event of WrestleMania 8, but it was the only match that I could pair together, judging from the confirmed superstars so far. And again, this is what I'm saying. Missing out superstars such as Kurt Angle, it really does limit the choices of the main events that you can take from the WrestleMania kind of 17 period onwards. Kurt Angle features a lot in WrestleMania and it just doesn't seem right not to have him in there in a mode called 30 years of WrestleMania. So anyway, we're going to move on to WrestleMania 9. We've got Yokozuna twice. He fights Sh uh, Bret Hart first of all. And then he goes on, I think, in the main event to fight Hulk Hogan as well. Now, that could be quite interesting to see how that pans out on the 30 years of WrestleMania mode. Now, we have hit WrestleMania 10, and we're going to see Raza Ramon versus Shawn Michaels. Now, that would be a classic match. I can definitely see that happening. Why else would they bring in Raza Ramon? Why would they bring in the old school Shawn Michaels? That's, that's a go-ahead. I'm pretty sure that's going to happen. And another match. Featuring Yokozuna, we have Bret Hart versus Yokozuna. That is another match that could also be included due to the superstars confirmed on the roster release. Now, number 11, on WrestleMania number 11, we've got Undertaker versus King Kong Bundy. So King Kong Bundy does make a return to WrestleMania, as well as Diesel versus Shawn Michaels. Now, Shawn Michaels, this would be his second WrestleMania in a row that he could feature in. And then we move on to WrestleMania 12, where we have Ultimate Warrior vs Triple H, Hunter Hearst Helmsley at the time. I'm not too sure on that whether, because I don't think the Hunter Hearst Helmsley gimmick was confirmed in that roster release. However, there was a retro Triple H, which may be used instead. I do not know. We'll have to find out for that, I guess. The next match confer that could be confirmed would be Undertaker vs Diesel. And then Shawn Michaels for the third time in a row at WrestleMania vs Bret Hart. Now, WrestleMania 13 was very limited of what I could find. The only match I could find that could be used from this card was Bret Hart vs Stone Cold Steve Austin. Now, I could, I could definitely see this happening, obviously, because it's the only match on the card from the confirmed roster that you could actually use. So, I'm pretty sure that's probably going to be used. And then WrestleMania 14, we see brother vs brother. We've got Undertaker vs Kane for the first time. And now another match that could also be used would be Stone Cold vs HBK Shawn Michaels. WrestleMania 15, we've got Mankind vs Paul White. It was the old school Big Show. Whether that's retro Big Show, I'm not too sure. That could be the character model. Again, I did not watch WrestleMania 15, therefore I do not know which era Big Show was in at that time. Um, there are three matches on this uh, match card that could be confirmed. Obviously, Mankind, Big Show, Kane vs Triple H, which would be quite an exciting match to play, as well as Stone Cold vs The Rock, number one. Now that, I'm pretty sure I've seen highlights of that match, and that was an epic match, and they will have a rematch later on down the line. WrestleMania 16, again, it's a strange one. We've only got Triple H vs The Rock, and that's the only match I could find from that match card. But WrestleMania 17, Shane McMahon was not confirmed, and neither was Vince McMahon, however I'm pretty sure they will feature in it. They're a bit of a given, they may be NPCs, but they did have a match at WrestleMania 17, and it would be a bit weird if we did not see the owner of the company against his son at a WrestleMania event. That's quite an epic event, that doesn't happen a lot, and I'm pretty sure that would be included if it was to go ahead. Now we do see Undertaker vs Triple H as well on this card and the rematch between Stone Cold and The Rock. Moving on to WrestleMania 18, this is where we start to get a lot more choice in matches. Now WrestleMania 18 features Undertaker vs Ric Flair, Stone Cold vs Scott Hall which we could see Razor Ramon used instead of Scott Hall, uh, The Rock vs Hulk Hogan, Hollywood of course, and Triple H vs Chris Jericho. WrestleMania 19 features again Chris Jericho versus 
HBK, Shawn Michaels, as well as Hulk Hogan versus Vince McMahon. Again, I could see this match going ahead just because Vince McMahon, owner of the company, when he competes at WrestleMania, you include it, don't you? That's a big moment when the owner of the company is actually getting in the ring and fighting. So we've got The Rock vs Stone Cold for the third time as well. And now this is where I start to sink. Kurt Angle really should be included. We've got a Lesnar vs Kurt Angle match. That would be an absolute showstopper to play. Why would you not have Kurt Angle in a 30 years of WrestleMania mode? He starts to feature a lot more frequently now and he has some absolute classic matches. So we're going to go down to WrestleMania 20 we're at now. Only 10 years left and I could see at WrestleMania 20 we've got John Cena vs The Big Show. Now that was a big moment when John Cena came out and he fought Big Show at WrestleMania. I'm not going to give away any of the results. Honestly, because I don't actually remember much of the results. I remember the matches, but not the results off the top of my head. Uh, we've got Evolution vs Rock and Sock Connection, which I, again, I can see happening because Mankind and The Rock. Uh, Goldberg makes his first appearance vs Brock Lesnar. Now that would be an absolutely epic match. I do not know why they would not include that, given that the two superstars are both confirmed. Undertaker vs Kane is the last match on this card that I could make out of the confirmed superstars. Um, WrestleMania 21, we move on to Undertaker vs Randy Orton. Again, Kurt Angle making an appearance vs Shawn Michaels. We've got John Cena vs JBL and Triple H vs Batista. Again, all matches that you'd want to see. WrestleMania 22, we've got that classic, that absolute worldly match between Edge and Mick Foley. I don't think any diehard wrestling fan will forget this match. That spear through that flaming table, the hardcore moments that came in that match, it would be a shame not to include it. HBK vs Vince McMahon, again Vince McMahon fighting at WrestleMania, I would be shocked if they did not include Vince McMahon. Uh, now we've got Mysterio vs Randy Orton vs Kurt Angle. Now this is a match I would definitely love to see, but again I do not think Rey Mysterio is confirmed either, so judging by that, that does veer towards the thing that Angle might not actually be included in this, which obviously he wasn't confirmed on the roster, so we may have to live with that, we may have to miss out on some epic matches because Kurt Angle can't be included onto the um, roster. So we've got John Cena and Triple H finally in WrestleMania 22. WrestleMania 23, it starts to get a bit finer. We've got Undertaker vs Batista and John Cena vs Shawn Michaels. And then that's the only two matches I could find on that match card. WrestleMania 24, moving ever so closer to WrestleMania 30. We've got Shawn Michaels vs Ric Flair in his retirement match, I think that was. And then we've got Randy Orton vs John Cena vs Triple H. That would be a classic match to play. And I'm pretty sure all wrestling fans will remember that one. And then finally, we have Undertaker vs Edge. WrestleMania 25, we have Undertaker vs Shawn Michaels, John Cena vs Edge vs Big Show, and Triple H vs Randy Orton. WrestleMania 26, we see Bret Hart vs Vince McMahon. This again, I could see happening because Bret Hart is confirmed on the roster. Vince McMahon isn't, however, but I feel he'll be included anyway. Chris Jericho vs Edge, John Cena vs Batista, and Undertaker vs Shawn Michaels again. And now, WrestleMania 27, we see an appearance from Alberto Del Rio, and of course he is confirmed on the roster, so I can definitely see his match against Edge being included. We've got Randy Orton vs CM Punk, Undertaker vs Triple H, and The Miz vs John Cena, and this is a WrestleMania, I think all three of those matches will be included, because The Miz is confirmed, CM Punk's confirmed, Del Rio's confirmed, they don't actually feature in many other matches that could be confirmed from the roster, so I'm pretty sure WrestleMania 27 will be a stacked card. WrestleMania 28, we've got Kane vs Randy Orton, Undertaker vs Triple H, CM Punk vs Jericho, and The Rock vs John Cena for the first time. And now WrestleMania 29, the most recent WrestleMania, we've got Undertaker vs CM Punk, we've got Triple H vs Brock Lesnar, and we've got Cena vs The Rock for the second time. Now this leads me on to the final moment, we've got WrestleMania 30, what ideas do you guys have for this? Please leave in the comments section what you think is going to happen. I've heard many YouTubers talk about how we could create our own uh, WrestleMania 30 arena, we could have our own core, our created wrestler fight through and then eventually face someone at WrestleMania. 
Now what I could see happening is obviously having a creative wrestler and we end up facing Undertaker. Now obviously that is a very debatable subject whether we would end Undertaker's streak because that is an immortal streak. But obviously the slogan of the game is become immortal. Being a creative wrestler that kind of brings about that gist of become immortal and how else could you become immortal than defeating Undertaker at Wrestlemania that undefeated streak has got to come to an end some sooner or later as long as he's competing so what a way to do it with a creative wrestler otherwise another option I could see would be picking a superstar from the current day roster and giving them that push they need to face the Undertaker at Wrestlemania but apart from that, I'm unsure as to what could actually happen at the WrestleMania 30. Maybe a, a Money in the Bank ladder match, because that does seem to happen. Although, with the pay-per-view being its own pay-per-view now, that may not be included. Please leave in the comments section what you think, what your ideas and matches that would happen are going to be. And leave a like as well on the video it's very much appreciated and i will talk to you guys later this has been a long video i hope you stay to watch it all this is just my two cents looking at the match cards from wrestlemania and matching them up with the confirmed superstar this has been bald i hope you had a super awesome time see you guys later